Okay, I just plug this in. As you can see, it's wattage is going down. So, <clears throat> let's see. It's voltage 28.3. This is a full battery, but still showing 63%. point is even adjusting this setting number four to 1920 and I've tried to reset it and I've tried to hard reset to the best of my ability going through this display unit there's nothing in the manual that explains what to do in this situation and so even though it is fully charged. It's not taking any more charge. There we go. This will this display is not showing a hundred percent, and so therefore, when I try to cascade this thing, it's not working clearly. So here we go again, Pecron. What do I do? Okay, I think I finally figured out how to properly cascade these uh, these Pecron batteries. Uh, what I did was, this is the EB3000, charged it up 100%. The E2000 LFP charged it up 100%. Then stacked both units, connected the cascading cable, and turned it on. And then I waited and waited, and as you saw, this display panel was showing 63%. So I waited and I thought, well, that's strange. Maybe I'll mess around with the settings. So I went through the settings and I'll go through this real quick. I just turned it on, didn't need to do that. Uh, try to remember here. Okay, and so we'll look at the settings. One, two, three. So I adjusted this right here, very important because this is 1920 watts, this is 3076 something. Anyways, a total of 49992, so that's correct. Uh, really don't mess with these other settings. That's the low voltage, high voltage, everything looks great, and it saves. All right, so anyways, this is fully charged. Uh, so what I realized finally, is that after you connect this cascading cable and it's still not talking to one another, you need to plug in this AC charger again, get this all the way up to 100% and it slowly charged. It was like a slow trickle charge. I think it was like seven watts. It took about 45 minutes to finally get from 63% up to 100. And so when you do that, here, I'm gonna unplug this. So now I have unplugged the AC charger, taking this out, it is 100%. The cascade cable is in, so I'm gonna turn on this inverter. Okay, it's on. And I'm gonna plug in just a 200 watt heater here. Plugged in, put this bad boy on, and you'll see what happens. So it's drawing 260 watts at 17, at 18 hours. So if you do the math, 18.8 .8 times 200, that's about, what, 85%? Uh, anyways, cool thing is if you go down here, you should see the green light. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yep, there it is. The green light, that means it has finally successfully cascaded. So, in the future, if you are trying to connect two batteries or three batteries, again, what you wanna do is charge them all individually. Connect the cascade cable, get them all connected, and then 
get your AC charger, plug it into the unit again, let it get up to 100%, uh, unplug the, the AC charger, flip it on, and it should work. That's how, after trial and error, I finally figured it out. My issue was I was charging both, and even though I knew that they were both fully charged, I didn't realize that you had to, again, plug in the AC charger uh, and get them cascading that way. I thought it automatically would do that just with this charge, this charge, plug in the cascading cable, and it would do that on its own. Again, it might say that in the manual. I did not see that anywhere. Uh, Rambling Bob might have said something about that. But, you know, his videos are can be pretty long at times, so maybe I, I missed that part. Um, so for if you're having the same issues with cascading your Pecron, it seems like this is the solution. Uh, pretty cool. So if this works like this, I love it. I think it's amazing and awesome, and I finally solved the cascading problem of the Pecron uh, E2000 LFP.